Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Tash and Bex Flex. Um, we've got a little something. A little jingle. A little something for the weekend. <laughs> so we'll leave you with the jingle and we'll be back. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. Oh, my grater. I can't sit down properly. <laughs> I really wanted to get to your grater, didn't I, You did your face. It's like... Rrr, 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 rrr. Get my grater. I really want to have a go on a grater. <laughs> well, my, my grater's rearranged nicely now. Yes. We've all, all settled. Yeah, we're all settled. That was very... It was hard work, wasn't it? Oh, it was actually, I got very hot doing that and I got very serious. And the pans are really heavy. Pans like, are heavy. Really heavy. I'm not used to anything heavy on my front. <laughs> it's quite strange to see it with, with boobies. Oh, no, saucepan boobies. <laughs> yeah. You notice mine are like odd ones. Yeah, but, but that's because you're odd. That's because I'm odd. Not because my boobs are no. odd. In real life. No, I, I haven't seen your boobs, but I'm sure they're, they're not bad. No. <laughs> not one with the, like, that shape nipple and one with the square one. But you do get... Like yeah, quite big irregularities yeah. between yeah. the boobs. <laughs> Boob not, irregularities. Not mine, obviously, mine are too small <laughs> to notice any irregularity. But if they were a bit bigger, I'm sure there would be an irregularity. Yes, yeah. they're, they're not symmetrical. No, we're not symmetrical. No, one's a little bit bigger than the other. Yeah, yeah. Everything, I. Everything, I, I, I thin here, yeah. eyelid. Yeah, I thin. Mine's a bit fatter. <laughs> I've then you quite often have one eyebrow up, don't you? One straight down. Like that. Like that. But apparently most models are symmetrical, which is why they become models. Oh, well, they would be. Because their faces are pretty much But perfect. they've probably been designed in a... <laughs> to be that certain way. Yes. To be perfect. Exactly. Anyway. Well, what are we talking about today then? Clowns. Clowns. And basically how mm. clowns depict the Nephilim. Is that right? Is that mm. the right word? Well, I mean, I've always hated clowns. Can't bear them. I think they're really, there's something, I've always felt there's something evil about clowns. And they're horrible, they're very unnecessary, and there actually isn't any real history about them, is there? No. Well, nobody we've, ever we've, says we've what looked. it is. Yeah, we've looked. Um, but they don't, but when you're younger, nobody says where, they, oh, it's just from the circus. They never yeah. say the history of clowns to anyone, do they? No. No. Um, but we came across, what was his name? Uh, we'll link, obviously, his stuff in. We'll, I think we should link his whole, rather than the individual ones, we'll link his whole page because it's fascinating. Yeah, It's a really good page. And then if you want to look into this deeper, if you scroll down, there's five separate series and it's called Clown and the Nephilim. I think he's called Conspiracy Are Us. Is he? Or something like that. But yeah, he's an American guy. But we'll, we'll link him at the bottom. And so, then... Am I going first? Yeah. Yours is more interesting. Or more. Do I you think? think? Yeah. Oh, I think I should do that bit. And then you should, and then I should do the woo bit when you. Do you know what I mean? Or should I just do? All, no, you do your Because I can't. You go with the flow. Mm, okay, the flow. Yeah. Okay, flow. We'll go with it. Okay, so what I found interesting about these guy, this guy's stuff, was that he was linking clowns with the Nephilim, as Tasha said. Um, but I. I link it to the Anunnaki. I mean, it's the same. It's the same, the same entity. Isn't same, it? or... It's the same race. The controllers, basically. Whoever's controlling what's yeah, going on. Yeah, because when we were doing a, a vid on the Anunnaki, we described how they looked. We did. And they were tall, very pale skinned, red hair. So obviously, when a traditional clown has white, whited out face and this red crazy hair, and also, quite a big head, big yeah, skull as well. Big skull, which the Anunnaki have this sort of, mm. you know, longer head. Um, so you can sort of straight away see that there there's a correlation mm. there between how the Anunnaki have been described and what a clown looks like. Um, but the real interesting thing about this guy with what he um, came up with was the two tribes. One is called the Hain. And they are right down in the very bottom tip of South America. Very, aren't they? Very specific right, regions. Yeah, there. very, very specific, right at the bottom. Um, and it is literally on that little point of, in Argentina. And then there's another tribe, the Hopi, which a lot of people have heard of. Now, they're in southwest USA, so Arizona, uh, probably into Cali and uh, 
um, maybe Nevada. I don't mm, know. That but kind def- of bottom. yeah, but definitely uh, Arizona for sure. Um, so you've got these two tribes, indigenous tribes, and they both celebrate. Well, what what's interesting is they both dress up. Um, the same for a certain ceremony that they do. Um, it's called the Ceremony of the Salk Man mm-hmm. um, in in the South American culture, and in the Hopi, um, it's uh, the Pe- Pueblo clown. They look like Pueblo clowns. Are they the ones that have got the horny? Some of them have that come horns. out. Some of them, some have horns. Like a jester when they have yeah, that. Yeah, like, like a jester. Yeah. And they're striped. White head. face. Yeah. Black and white striped body. And this bit's black up here is like a black and white stripe, yes. isn't it? As yeah. Well. Yeah. So you've got the black and white stripes. I've mm. seen dolls like that before. Yes. Little sort of funny dolls. With... Well, and do you remember the Cuero? Oh. When we were kids. Yes. But that's the two different coloured faces. Well, it's a clown. Yes. And I used to collect them. Black and white. Yeah, she had like weird. Um, Oh, sorry, it came up with a message there, but it's all right. <laughs> um, weird what? She had, like, almost silky clothes on, didn't she? Yes. Like black white, and white, silky, yeah. jamo type things. But everyone had Puero stuff when yes. I was a kid. And I and she had always had a tear. Yeah, I didn't like Puero stuff mm. either. found it a bit weird. But the interesting thing about these two tribes, so they are thousands and thousands of miles away from each other, different continents. One's the tip of South America, and the other one is in the southwest of North America. Um, so there's no, I mean, it's highly unlikely that they've ever intermingled. And yet the ceremony of the Salk Man um, is, ex- they dress up exactly the same as the Hopi. Mm. In South- so, so they're both doing the exact same thing. And it's a ceremony. Now, sometimes if you've got a, a, a an entity that you don't want around, you kind of do a ceremony to ward it off. Mm. So, or... Was it that they were visited by the Anunnaki and they were kind of reenacting what had happened? We don't know, but it's interesting that they dress up. Did, did we get any photos of them? Uh, no. Okay, no worries. Didn't but it, it's interesting that they both look. Yeah. And both both very very similar, and they're dressing up the same, and, and they're this far away. So that sort of indicates or suggests that these uh, indigenous tribes were visited by the same entities or same people or same race and we're certainly doing the same yes whatever it may be cleansing or maybe yeah. even calling them in i don't know i don't know because i i feel like it's a dark entity that you mm. wouldn't want to call in but maybe it's a thing it's sometimes but they could be dark or they're honoring yeah or they're honoring it so it doesn't come and give them you know a bad t- a, a horrible time but it's just interesting that they they're so far away and yet mm. they, they're doing the same thing um so Clowns kind of go in with that same, um, you know, they're supposed to be fun, aren't they? But there's this clowns, jesters, as you said, they had these points on their head, um, the tribal people. Um, and so that that it alludes to the jester. Jesters wore the things with the bells on you the top. You get like a jester head. hat, yeah, yeah. people like to wear. So clowns, jesters, jokers. Um, tricksters. They're all tricksters. They mm-hmm. all have trickster energy. They do, don't they? They're all there to deceive and yeah. they pretend they're silly, but they're not. They're kind of con men, really. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely. But if you think about it, who's the biggest trickster? Is this satanic? You know, look at the trickster, trick, it's all trickery, trickery isn't it? in the media. The whole and, thing's a trick. Uh, absolutely, it? yeah. So, um, I want to talk about. Do you want me to... Yeah, because yes. it, I can't okay. really go on to that bit. Yes, we'll talk about the, bit. Yeah, talk about the, the, so, yeah, the clowns. You, yeah. yeah, and then I'll butt in again. And we'll get back in there. Yes. So, what this guy was then looking at was looking at clowns. Obviously, we're looking at clowns and the Nephilim. But then he was looking at where it is in TV, movies, just generally infiltrated into yeah, our how everyday clowns, lives. How clowns have infiltrated into our... And basically, these clowns quite often wear zigzag patterns or striped patterns don't they striped clothes are gonna be sometimes it's black and white sometimes it's like red and white or sometimes it's just their stockings but there or, will be stripes somewhere or it can be checkerboard as well you yes. sometimes get like what chefs wear yeah those chef trousers you can get that so they yeah. also kind of and a classic example would be alice in wonderland you had the mad hatter and the red queen and they both had very pale faces very big heads as well yeah and red hair yeah and in the background of it as well there's plenty of the jesters with the protrusions all around whenever that movie's playing. That, that's, the new, of... that's the new Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? Yes, with sort of like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, you've got uh, McDonald's. And, oh. of course, Ronald McDonald's, the clown. And then you've got the hamburger. 
And he's the one who wore the stripy clothes with the little thing. He used to obviously, he was a burglar of some sort, wasn't he? Stealing the burgers. Yeah, stealing the burgers. And then this guy kind of like said the Mad Hatter and the Hamburger, burglar, they both um, had like bowler type hats. And he said this is very synonymous of what people report when they're in sleep paralysis. That there's quite often a man in the background with a kind of bowler type hat and a flannel shirt. And this, this entity seems to control the situation and he's pivotal as to why you can't move. And he's saying this character then is very similar to the character in Nightmare on Elm Street as well. Freddy Krueger. Yeah. So he was I, I sort of... watched that. No, watch no, that. I don't watch any we movies. We don't watch movies. <laughs> so that was quite interesting that he sort of saw the sort of sleep. And then he also links a lot of zigzags into um, ocular migraines and things like that. So he's sort of implying that there's some everyday things that we go through that could perhaps be this kind of... Relate to... Whatever it may be that's going on, yeah. And then, of course, you've got Beetlejuice. Yes, pale right, face. Absolutely. Uh, Batman, you've got the Joker, then you've got the Pied Piper of Hamlin, who sometimes dresses as a clown or a jester, not always. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah, child um, catcher. There's the child catcher, and then there's there's a bit where they catch them, they lure them in with sweets, and it's like a, a cage, and that's got clowns all over it, decorated in clowns. Uh, and then Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, they have a song called Don't Come Around Here No More, and it's all zigzag and checkerboards, and all their clothing, the wall, the ceiling, all of it. And then there was a Bob Dylan Netflix docuseries um, called Rolling a Thunder Review. Mm. And in it, he was wearing a mask. He had a white, white face. And he talks about a commanding chief of the world that we can't see making a deal with said person. And the reason he still produces his work is to keep his side of the deal. Yeah, I've seen an interview where he actually admits that he yeah, sold his soul. he sold his soul. Mm. And then think of the BBC when we were younger. You had Test Card oh. F. Yes, that on here. which is the girl with the clown and the noughts and crosses. Now, noughts and crosses is symbolic again because it is checkerboard. Um, oh, I didn't think about yeah. that. Yeah, and in America, they just had a coloured pattern, basically. So we had... We had this... And I, look at this face remember, on that. Look at the clown. Look at the clown. It's so... We had that one. I think I've horrible. put what America had in there as well. What did America so America have? just had like a... America! Background. They didn't have the clown. They hey, just had that. America! They just had that, and that was apparently on our screens for like 40 years, whenever there wasn't any transmission of programmes. Yeah. Which is mad, isn't it? Well, I can remember getting up as a little girl in the morning, going down, turning and it the would go, on, and yeah, and that would be there, turn it off again. Boom. And then you had Chucky, which is a horrible thing, where there was this horrible red-headed, uh, possessed Chucky. doll. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, stop! <laughs> Do it all. Sorry. <laughs> She's funny. Um, yes, yeah, so he was this horrible um, doll with this red hair, and it, throughout that series, there's zigzag bedrooms all the way throughout it. And then there's a producer called David Lynch. Uh, Twin Peaks is the yeah. most common one. There was the Red Room, and that was about extra dimensional. It was an extra dimensional space, basically, where people walk and talk backwards. That had a zigzag floor as well. And then he did a razor face in 1977. Same exact distinctive zigzag a razor, floor. A razor face. Are you sure it wasn't a razor head? I think it's a razor face. I'll check that. It could be a razor head. Is it a film? I don't know. Look it up. Yeah. 1977, a razor face. Could oh, be a razor head. I, th I, thought I'd, I think I've seen a film called A Razorhead. And then he interestingly did another short film um, called I'm Alan Kay and it was literally only one minute on YouTube and it was just a zigzag floor with a white face. Yeah, sorry, A Razorhead. I made my own version of it then. You did, A, a razor, razor Face. face. Love it, I love a it. A Razor Face. Create new films. Um, so this sort of zigzaggy thing, maybe is that where it'd be good for you to come in now? Uh, or do you want me to talk about then, just... then the other the only other thing was just talking about that bob connection no yeah, it's good yeah so the zigzaggy thing yeah that that's so great I'll have that so you have this we're slipping we've got a little bolster underneath know, us we're sitting and it's not my... bolstering very well it's, oh. it's a yoga roll there we go oh, get back on it oh my grace is all all right now <laughs> yeah it's your grace are getting in the way <laughs> it's rather bulky it is big and clunky <laughs> it's not really <laughs> <laughs> it is in my in my experience it was big and clunky clunky yeah so what i obviously thought about the zigzags and stripes black and white so from a woo perspective they call this realm the realm of polarity um and uh i actually think that that's a load of bullshit because for it to be a realm of polarity you have to have two poles don't you which would mean that you're on a north pole south pole and you're on a ball so obviously those of us who feel that we're on in a realm which is flat you don't have two poles no nope. so 
I think that's again a trickster, the trickster the energy. The whole polarity thing. Yeah, polarity, is yeah. to create a polarity division. Create division with that. You're either black or you're white. You're this or you're that. You're, you're flat or you're dirt. globe. You're yeah. big yeah. yeah, and exactly. To stop any kind of <laughs> unity. Um, and so there's this kind of black and white check. You know, we keep seeing it in all Zig of the dark. black and white yeah. clowns. But it always seems to relate these, to... These films. Yeah. yeah. And to dark. It's like all part of the matrix. The illusion yeah. keeping us in there. Keeping us in a state of polarity. Um, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, but we, what we, this guy had in the, in his videos, which do have a look at them because it's really interesting, was this. Um, well, I, I call it. Well, show, show the one of Bob Marley because so there's Bob Bob's Marley. been interviewed, right? And as he's been interviewed, this black, this this zigzag, zigzag, black and white pattern comes in and is trying to basically attach itself onto Bob Marley. Now, when I do clearings, as some people know, I clear energy fields as part of my healing work. I do take off attachments, don't I, Tash? Um, some of them are AI, some of them are organic. You took one out of my fanny. I'm a greater, well. didn't you? I'm one of a greater. Well, greater. I'm a greater. Uh, well, let's, let's just remind everyone, I don't do this in the physical realm. I do it when when I'm journeying. Just, just to, yeah. I had a demon up there. Yeah, you did have a demon. Cheeky little demon. Um, <laughs> so... So when I look at that of Bob Marley, I see this entity coming in and trying to trying to attach itself Sorry, onto Bob. Again. Um, and then there's other footage of this black and white. So what does he call it? He calls it liquid. Right. He calls it so liquid he... crystal polarization. Okay, so that, that's what he calls this. Yes. This whole zigzag. He calls it the, the black and white zigzaggy that comes in. There's footage of it coming into the liquid crystal um, auric field, basically. So this this was just on normal TV. It was two women being interviewed. Right. That's yeah. them as they are, yeah? Yeah. So they are on the news. I think that's a news channel. Yeah. So they're just in the States. So they're just talking away. And then the film rolls and they are completely covered in it. Now, the, the difference with them and Bob is that, that it's in them. Yes, it, it follows the, the, the edge of their yeah of their body. Whereas with Bob, it's definitely coming in from outside and trying to attach. Whereas these guys, it's integral. It's inside them already. They they're already yeah. What him. about him? There's another guy. He was just on a news. He, he was, was being just, interviewed or in, something in Walmart car park or something. Yeah, isn't it? so he's got it there, and it obviously moves because it's, it's different on that bit, look. Yeah. Would you say his is in there? Yeah, his is very much in him, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than trying to get in or out. Because otherwise we would see it outside Where of the tree's shape. Yeah, it yeah. would be kind of coming in here. So I've had a little think what, what, how to explain. Right, so cr liquid crystal polarisation is not a term that I'm familiar with, but um, I, I, the only thing that I could find which helped me with this is that you need, for, for the liquid crystal to polarise, it needs an electric charge. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, right, okay, because again, I've talked about this before, how dark entities need something to live off because they don't have any life force of their own. So it comes in, it's using your, your electromagnetic field to, to manifest. Right. Um, so, um, to my mind, that is this trickster entity as a, you know, non-physical form coming in and trying to attach itself onto like Bob Marley and already inside these right. women. So to me, it's a fourth dimensional thing, entity. So it's or a, just thing, a different phenomena. Different, sorry, can you open yeah. that again and I'll show the, so, um, the demon drawing. And the problem, the prob well, what we don't really understand is that, um, is, is how cl that all the dimensions are kind of in, layered. in this, the layered. space that we're in anyway. So it's what I call a pop through or a bleed through. Oh, okay. And I've talked to you about that before, haven't I? Yeah. When I've seen things like literally yeah, like bleeding. Yeah, say it's like, yeah. Through, and then it it goes pushes back, back. It pushes back so it's like it just sort of bleeds through yeah and then goes away again and ghosts are the same when people say i saw a ghost it was there and then it disappeared i call that a pop through yeah it just literally just, showed just the veil just whatever the just veil bit, lifts and, and there then it, it is yeah so talking about the veil lifting um 
DMT. Mm. Apparently, um, who's that guy that we're supposed to be sleeping with? Um, oh, we're having sex with someone, are we? I thought we were. Oh, um, what's his name? One of the thingies. Joe Rogan. Is it Joe Rogan? Yes, that's the one, yeah. Is it what? Yeah, yeah our so Jewish friend. Our Jewish lover. <laughs> our Jewish lover, yeah. Joe Rogan, he did DMT and he claims that he saw these... Um, jesters, jesters, jokers, clowns, clowns tricksters. tricksters, yeah. When he was under the influence of DMT. So and DMT is very much um, a veil lifter, you mm. know, and it's quite instant when you have it. It's just, it all just comes and you go, wow. And then it fades away as it, is, as it leaves you. Um, so he, Joe, Joe Rogan talked quite a lot about mm. it, that he saw these trickster energy. You asked me if I'd ever seen, mm. I have done DMT a couple of times, but I've never seen anything like that. But you did it, like you said, as a ceremonial. Yeah, I do. I do anything like that in ceremony. Mm -hmm. So the Not vibrations are really high. And we're doing it to heal, grow, or, you know... It's become... kind of done in a protective environment, isn't it? But, yeah, and, and it's done with respect. Mm. Like, if you're taking stuff like DMT recreationally, you, and, you, you, you are going to see... In. You're going to see whatever, because what, what it actually does, what I feel with DMT or anything like that, is it's showing you where you're at. So if you're in a bad space or you've got shit you haven't sorted out, you're likely to see, you know, more negative entities. I've only ever seen very beautiful things when I've been under the influence. Um, so it's like the veil lifts and it's like, well, where are you? Mm. Where you are is sort of where you're at. Yes. Yeah. You know, in your energy. So I haven't seen any... When I've been under DMT and I've asked a couple of other people and they haven't either. They haven't but, either. but it's known the, that people do, isn't it? Well, yeah. And and I think with all the people that I know, we all do these things in ceremony, sacred ceremony. Yeah, it's so different. Well, none of us would see stuff like mm. that because we're there for completely different reasons. Mm. You know, we're doing these things not to get off our tits, but to expand our mm. consciousness and have a greater understanding of who we are in the universe that we're living in. So I can't kind of... I don't have any direct experience of that, that, but apparently it's quite common. And yeah. I do know people who've had bad DMTs because they did it recreationally. And anyone who has, just does take DMT, has done it. If you've seen jokers, jesters, clowns, they say sometimes circus environments. Yeah, please comment. Yeah, please Love comment. Know, or whatever you did see, still comment. Well, and, and I know people that have seen demons and, mm. and devils and mm. dark stuff. But then clowns can look very like that, can't they? Those oh, awful ones with the big wide mouth and the tons of teeth. It's horrible. And, and, and what is the link with, well, not what is the link, but we know the link, but clowns are always shoved into children. Children, yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? So there's something not right there. So this liquid crystal polarisation, if anyone knows any more about that as well, like in terms of physics, yeah, that's what, what it I was looking I was looking like... For the actual yeah, like definition a, of or yeah. whatever, yeah, yeah. And I, there, it's a process, in a, it's a chemical process, mm. but I couldn't get any more information other than it does need a charge and they use it to see if there is liquid crystals in something. They will put the charge through mm. to sort of separate it so they can see, but they that's see. not what... This is, should I play this Yes, video? yes, yes. So this is, a, this is a guy who was drawing a picture of a demon, isn't it? That's, that's what it was. He was, yeah, he was showing a picture of a drawing he'd done, wasn't he? Of a demon. Yeah, of a demon. So if I just... If you turn it up the other way as well, make it get bigger. Right, so if you look at that, there's... Gonna come up backwards, so you can see that that's going into because that's in the background on that one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that man. So that's one trying to get in. So there it's to gone again, in. and he just shows it. And that demon's probably going, oh, that's mine. And you can picture. see it manifesting again now. Look, it's growing. It's you horrible. See, it's isn't changed, it? like how it's growing, and then all those bits kind of linked together, and that's kind of like on his shoulder. Yeah, it's kind of here, isn't it? It's trying yeah, to it's trying to attach again, and then it disappears in an instant when he shows it. It just goes. Oof. That's like completely gone. So yeah, that is, I mean, obviously we don't know if that's 100% genuine or whatever, but if that is a real video, then... I mean, it's very different because when I was watching those thinking, oh, what is it, what is it? Because we do get pixelation. Yes. But it's not... Pixel no, pixelation is quite regular, yeah. isn't it? And it's, it's got sharp squares. Yeah, it's got edges. It's very definitely... It's very exactly, exactly curly. Very black and white, black yes, and white. Yes, very, very black so, and white. So uh, just, yeah, so that's my bit, mm. just about DMT and pop throughs and bleed throughs mm. and so I think that's what we're seeing we're seeing a bleed through from the fall from the veil yeah, yeah from beyond the veil fascinating and the veil is very it's thinning 
as it is. Yes, generally. It's getting smaller. It's getting thinner and thinner. So what this guy carried on looking into was um, basically he was playing the Illuminati, the Illuminati, sorry, 1990 card game. I quite want to get it, you know. Yeah, because it's got the virus and everything in it, hasn't it? It's got yeah, COVID I, I really want to get it so we can play it. And basically on many of the cards, there was this character called Bob or B-O-B. Um, and he was basically the founder of a, a parody religion called Church of the Subgenius. His full name was J.R. Dobbs, but known by the word, but, but by the name Bob. And interestingly, in Batman, Bob, the goon, is the, his most closest and trusted friend of the Joker, basically. So this, he was saying, he just thinks it's odd that this Bob, B-O-B, comes up. So it's a bit like uh, when we see something that keeps recurring. Yeah. We ask ourselves, why do they keep why, presenting Yeah, why does that word keep us? coming up? So he's in the character in so that in, thing. He's yeah. in, the, in the Joker. Yeah. Um, Twin Peaks, again, we'll go back to that. So that interdimensional character, he's called Bob. And he basically feeds off pain and sorrow and he resides in the zigzag sort of red space. So he's feeding off Lush. Yes. So basically um, he's a possessed spirit originally from the mystical Black Lodge. And he spends his time possessing humans. This is in, in the, the Twin Peaks movie or series. It's a series, wasn't it? Interesting that it's called a lodge. And again, and Bob. We've got Bob again. And then the monkeys in the late 1960s had a song called uh, Headquarters. Uh, and it was only one minute long, and it, the, the lyrics, or we call it a chant really, were Mr. Bob Doppelina, Mr. Doppelina. And he keeps repeating that over and over for a minute. So Doppelina, because if you've got a doppelganger, doppelganger that's, yes. okay, so Doppelina. is it play on that? Yeah. yeah. And then in 1991, a rapper by the name of Adele the Funky Homo Sapien, what a name, used that monkey sample, Mr. Doppelina, Mr. Dob, Mr. Doppelina, um, and then later on in his lyrics, he said, Mr. Dob Mr. Dobbelina is a serpent, don't you think? But Dell is not down with any clowns or jesters. So that's jesters being, again, and same with the Joker, sort of jesters and this character of Bob perhaps being kind of like linked together. And then a bit further down the line, this Dell Homo Sapien, he joined, he made another band called Detron and they had a song called The Virus. And the opening lyrics were, global control will have to be employed, world governing body will be created to enforce it. Well, I wonder when that was released. Oh, I didn't write it down, did I? I think it was 1991. Oh, so way, way before. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Dell, basically. Uh, Detron, it was called. And the song was called The Virus. And then another one um, called Cottonmouth Kings, they sang about um, a Bob Dobbs in one of their songs. So it's this, this same sort of like name. And then he also um, referred to... Uh, I think it was in 2015 on Comedy Central where there was a rapper again named Bob. Um, he took the mic and he started rapping about Flat Earth, but it was all done really staged. It was when the flat the whole Flat Earth thing started coming out. And again, this character was called Bob. So he's just put a Bob, you know, it's just something that he kind of thought about and just thought there might be a connection to what this sort of Bob, well, yeah, why is Bob and so clowns much? and that sort of thing. Mm. And then this last bit, we need to play a video in a minute. Oh, shit, sorry. So there was a series called Revolution. Um, and throughout it, there's Grinning Man reference when they go on about it. And it basically, it's about nano nanotechnology taking down the grid. Uh, and then humanity have to try and restart society. But right towards the end, the tech becomes self-aware and takes over the world. So, this bit of the Ooh. film. Is um, it that or I'm that scared? One. There's nothing we can do to stop it. And it all starts. That's just quite interesting, isn't it? And don't forget, think about where you see the Grinning Man. The theme parks and all that, they will have that horrible with the really big... Well, in the, in the, in the fun house at the yeah, fair, you the can go in yeah, through Yeah, you can go in mouth. through that horrible Grinning Mouth. And it's horrible, isn't it? And then the one thing he did talk about that was interesting was the milk bottles, wasn't it? Yes. The also. milk cartons. Yeah. So they used to have clowns on them, apparently, and then they started putting the missing children missing on. Missing children's faces. Um, and also, you were saying about how we used to get free milk at school. Mm-hmm. Um, and you said, what's the milk about? And I said, well, so Satanists do blood rituals. They also do milk rituals. So we used to get it at school, didn't we? Yeah. For free. It was like, you must drink your milk. Like I hate it. milk. And it was warm. And it would be oh, sat, it'd be in, sat in the sun. It was horrible, wasn't yeah, it? And milk. also, the, um, the milk cartons as well. That sat on your... 
like American yeah, people's table. table every morning and your child's then off walking to school. The fear that was put into them. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that these children weren't true, but I think there was something, the guys said 50 million different, so a ridiculous number over 40 years that were put on these things. Yeah. Mean, is that really, well, look, or I, were they showing I, us who they took? They were showing us mm. and, and putting their thing into the idea of children's heads of you will be taken. Mm. I mean, 8 million children every year disappear. On paper, like that's what oh, they that's say. What, yeah. So it's likely to be more, but that's the official figure is eight million a year. My question is, how do you get rid of eight million bodies without mm. anyone finding anything? anything. Um, and also, that is that's a yearly average. That's disgusting. That eight million Absolutely. children. But then I don't know anyone who's ever had their child go missing. Do you? No. Never heard of it from distant family, friends, friends of family. It's in, it's an interesting thing again, isn't it? Yeah, yes, right. Until you. You know, same with this, you know, people are dying from the injection or people getting heart stuff until you actually can... Well, I do know people see, that... You do, yeah, you have done right from yeah. the start. I haven't. Well, apart from that guy I overheard talking the other day, that 44-year-old who just had a heart attack. No, I know a few where well, I knew straight, straight Slightly away. older, not that, that's, not that that's any no, relevance, but, but, you know, yeah, straight away. It was straight away. off, wasn't it? They day literally... off, day off. Yeah. The second, was it the first Pfizer? It was, it was the was. first one, yeah. Uh, and then I know, so I know lots of people who are very, very unwell, young. Do you? Uh, yes. I don't. I don't know anyone. Um, well, I do, but I don't. I don't know. It's not like time. It's not enough. I've got friends who are a bit. It's these. Um, like, it's these strange. fast um, cancers. The pro very mm -hmm. fast progressive stage cancers. four sort of cancers yeah. that I discovered. Yeah, yeah. and you, you got like three months, um, and boom. So I, I know a few. I know one that's died, and two who are not well, very unwell. So uh, yeah, I. I but well, I know what you're saying. You think, yeah, it's hard to think, you think oh, wouldn't we know somebody? Every year who... there's 8 million as well. Yes, think, every year, 8 yeah, million. Yeah, so you'd think, wouldn't you? Well, you might, you'd have heard of one family, surely. Or a friend you know of, of a friend, friend of a friend or something. Or something. But yeah. I've, never heard, I've never known anyone, only the stuff on the telly about children being kidnapped or taken or anything. Just food for thought. Well, and we know that they, they breed their own. Exactly. It's not necessary. That could all be part of another fear thing. And just, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Telling us what's going on, I suppose. Yeah. In many ways. They have to tell us. Yes, has to be done. Anyway. Anyway, stay clear of clowns. Don't like. Does anyone actually like clowns? Oh. I don't. I don't know. I. I. I always think they're dirty and smelly and yellow. Yeah, I just think they're evil. Just um, I don't see the point. And uh, also the big, big shoes, right? Sorry, I have to say about Ronald McDonald's red shoes. Mass and they're massive. And we know what red shoes are about. So I, I just feel like clowns are there to trick stuff with the children, draw the children in. Oh, it's definitely all about the children, children isn't trust. it? They're definitely about children, yeah. The whole, it's obvious, isn't it, from what we've sort of spoken about, really? Most yeah. of that's all got children. And, and obviously these dark entities that we're seeing as, as polar, the polarised stripes, black and white stripes, you know, they, they're very close. They're just mm. in that fourth dimension. They're just over the... Just over the... Just the other side of our little veil, our thin little veil. So, um... You know, it, it, it just sort of, it's just worth being aware. That's why we, well, that's why I protect myself all the time. Mm. And mm. I protect you. Don't they're like I? clowns. No, anyway, like that guy's clowns. channel is fascinating. He's got lots of really, really good stuff so on we'll there. Put the link. So we'll put his link to that. And then if you want to find the clowns stuff, just scroll through and you'll find it. There's five separate ones. Also, just before, I forgot this bit, but um, it also really correlates the stripes to prisoners. Oh, yeah. And prisoners and burglars. stripes. And burglars, yeah. yeah. Kind of like yeah. interesting just to look How that at that symbologies. Yeah, kind gone of on into through. other things mm. which are also sort of a bit bit yeah. neggy, yeah. bit yeah. neggy, bit negative, definitely. Yes. Anyway, it's um, it's Christmas next week, Ugh. so we won't be. Are we doing anything? I don't know because we don't really celebrate anyway. No, I've not. I've never celebrated Christmas. And I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. Everyone just goes, "Oh my God, is you Jehovah?" I'm like, "No, just never liked Christmas." Never celebrated it. But we'll put our yeah. video that we did last year as a reminder up anyway. Yeah, we'll remind you. I think I might watch it and remind myself. I can't remember. I can't <laughs> remember remind what myself we said. what we were talking about. Anyway, everybody, have fun. Have fun and see you soon. See you. Yeah. See you on the other side of the veil. Yeah. So we're not doing one next week. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Will it be next year we come back? I don't know. I haven't even thought about it. I need we're to work out when I'm working. <laughs> I need to work out when I'm working. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. So, so I don't we, know. we might. We might come back. We've got some good stuff to come back with yeah. in the new year. We have. Hard work stuff. Big books to read. Yeah, I'm reading a really fat one. Yours fat. is what fat. What really mine, made, yeah. Mine's, mine's my greater. It's bigger than your greater. Is it? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, your, your greater was bigger than my greater. Well, as well, that well chunky, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be, we'll, we might be back. We might not. Yeah. Might see you next year. Might see you this year. I don't know. Uh, but we will put our Christmas bid up from last year just to really just ruin all of your Christmases. <laughs> We're just a reminder. <laughs> reminder of how satanic it all is. Have yeah, fun. Anyway. Bye. Bye. Get your bubbles out. Yeah.